Okay, RPG tutorial part four. Yeah, uh, this is gonna be on uh, AI, which is artificial intelligence. Uh, I might be coughing a lot because I have the flu right now, which is going around where I am. Um, I'm kind of frustrated right now because I just did this entire tutorial already and the sound wasn't on, so that kind of made me sad. Um, so hopefully I'll do better this time, maybe. So let's see. Um, <coughs> let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, let me show you the movements I have in these three objects in this frame. We have the grass, which isn't really an object. Anyways, we have movement of this guy, basic eight direction. Let's make him a little bit faster than that. Uh, 15 pixels per set per second. Anyways, uh, goblin. <coughs> we have five movements. Uh, to add movements, click on this plus minus sign here, and then you can add by clicking this thing, and then change the movements around. Um, we have four movements, which is each a path movement, going in different directions. This one's going that way, and the other one's going another way, other way, and four different directions. Um, <coughs> and the fifth movement is just a bouncing ball, and it's speed of 15. And this guy's exactly the same, except for the, he doesn't have the bouncing ball movement. Um, so let's do uh, NPC AI first, because that's simpler. Um, uh, to do this, it's pretty easy. Just um, you want to do first every second set change the global value set global value A. And then you want to retrieve data from an object down here. <coughs> um, do special and do generate a random number. And do for the base number, you want it to be four, which so that it'll only do a random number to, between the numbers of zero and three. And I know that's three instead of four, but that's because zero, one, two, three is four numbers. Anyways. You have that. Um, <coughs> um, every one second he does that. Okay, now to make him move. So you, he already moves automatically because of the path movements, but you want to make it so it changes path movements when he reaches the end of one of his path movements. So movement, path movement. Has Emperor reached a node in the path? You want to make it so... Um, oh. And insert global values compared to a global value global value A is equal to zero you make it so the Emperor movement multiple movements select movement movement number one and then you copy this over four times and you make this one uh, global value A is equal to one global value A is equal to two and global value A is equal to three Okay, and now you want to change this, <coughs> movement number two, movement number three, movement number four. So now, whoa, he's moving, he's moving all these different directions, hooray, ignore this guy, yeah, he's moving, okay, but we, what's wrong right now is if he goes out of the screen, if he goes out of the screen, he doesn't reverse or stop or anything, so... What we want to do is collision, or actually uh, position, test position of Emperor, and click all the inner arrows. So when he leaves the play area, you make it so. <coughs> um, uh, movement reverse. So now he'll reverse when he hits the side of the screen. I'm not gonna wait for him to say this guy is screaming. That's just what's gonna happen. Okay, and now we want to make a new group of events because now we're starting with the enemy, which is a little bit more complicated. So insert a group of events. Title of group. Um, let's make it enemy move. Okay. <coughs> okay. So now copy these into there 
and but we don't want it to be the emperor now we want it to be the same thing only with this guy instead so movement uh compare uh path movement is we known its path and copy that over and make this replace uh position test position is left to play area so now it's exactly like all this only it's with this guy and we want to make these all over on him not him so just copy it over and delete these okay so we got that and so now both of them are moving hey they're both moving and they're not the same either it's so special um <coughs> okay to save it okay so now we have that but now we want to make it so that when the enemy sees our player he go he moves toward him instead of uh, still moving around randomly so we'll make it uh, now we need this new object which is it doesn't matter what it looks like because it won't be seen <coughs> we want to make it so that this guy shoots this because this is going to be his sight, what he what he sees. So what we make it is new condition every let's say five milliseconds. And insert and in uh, direction compare direction. And if he's move if he's facing any of these directions. I would just make it this direction, but making it have this many directions just help debug it, so it doesn't, you know, bug up. Anyways, <coughs> you make it every five seconds when he's facing that way. Uh, launch an object that at speed of 100, launch in selected directions. Let's make it those directions, so in front of him, because he's seeing just in front of him. Okay, speed of object, uh, can we make it more than that? Oh crap. Ah. Okay, how much can we make this? Okay. Crap. Okay, whatever. Let's just make it 100. Um, and now we need to do that for all the other directions you could be facing. So, copy that over four times edit this so that it is these okay and almost done okay now we gotta do this edit down Now he's launching these objects. Right now you can see them, but it doesn't matter because uh, right now it's just testing, or we can make them invisible later. Um, um, so now we need to make it so that uh, when he sees the guy, it changes his movement. So new condition, collision, other object with our player. It. We make it so we deactivate enemy move. So under this the special thing, do group of events deactivate enemy move and new condition. I mean not not new condition. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm after Louis messing with my head. Um, we make it so. Uh, deactivate enemy move and then we make it so the green goblin movement multiple movements and select movement number five which is the bouncy ball movement 
And I know a bouncy ball isn't right because we don't want him just going all around randomly. What we want him to do is edit <coughs> the uh, new condition um, and make it always. And also, we need to make it when this collides with that, we need to set his ultimate value A of the green goblin. Set A to 1. One and then insert <coughs> um, uh, alt-oil values compared to one of the alt-oil values. A is equal to one. So now always when A is equal to one, um, direction select direction. Or no, not uh, uh, direction. Look in the direction of our player okay so now let's test this oh no he saw me now he's going after me oh my god oh my god I'm, I'm being chased by a weird guy ah, he's faster than me 